Hey guys, so this is my second unboxing video. This one is Magic at Your Door, which I'm excited about as well. Um, I, <laughs> I'm in a different location right now because it is pretty late at night. Um, I work a retail job and I just got off. So feeling a little tired. I mean, this was a nice surprise to come back to. And this is so plain, but you know what? Um, it's more about the box, so let's dig in. So Magic at Your Door kind of locks you in, is a dis Disney subscription box, and I'm really thankful for these type of boxes because they will take your preferences and then they'll um, kind of tailor the box to your, to your liking. So um, unless you do one of the one-time boxes, um, they do ask you to uh, subscribe to a few at once, so I'm... I'm sure I'll like whatever is in there. I mean, I do give um, some preferences, some things I don't really like. But, I mean, I've seen really good things. And this is going to be my first one, so I'm really excited. I'm probably looking really fat right now. Um, but let's dig in. Okay. It's going to be really bad if I can't open a box. certificate which shows that I have um, joined this box this little pricing list as well say Stringer if you can dream it you can do it and always let your conscience be your guide may the magic of Disney be forever at your door and then it says August 26 2019 and a really cute signature of course okay so that is all kinds of like stuff <laughs> um totally forgot what it what it's called i know there's a name for like kind of this confetti paper but it kind of looks hufflepuff colors which is totally matching the shirt okay so let's dig in okay Ooh, pretty i actually don't have any disney ears which is so sad I'm a huge Disney fan. I'm a user of the Tinkerbell Disney Visa, which I totally recommend. Um, but I don't have any Disney ears. And these ones are really cute. So I have a feeling that all of you guys who watch these have seen these before. But they're adorable little pink um, mini ears. Let's see. So I don't usually do this, but I'm going to take this hat off, get my uh, my hair all kind of sorted out right there. I'm going to slip these on. I know, I look, I look awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so I got my ears. Don't you guys really see? There we go. Then I'll move some of this out the way. Hmm. You know, I keep seeing these on paper, on people's pictures, and I'm like, what is that? So I'm really interested to see what this is. Huh. It's actually a cosmetic case, and it's actually a kind of a decent size as well. I mean, you could definitely put like some lip gloss or, um, <laughs> oh my god, or, or things to paint your nails or like little soaps in here. But it's actually a cosmetic case. It's really cute. And um, I was, my sister is such a big f more fan of uh, Lion King. One of the things I remember from my childhood, which was really funny, was um, this Timon and Pumba cartoon where they went to the Eiffel Tower. Um, I mean, okay, <laughs> I think there was like some mime who was chasing them. I don't know. There's a lot of weird things from my childhood. Okay. And then... Mm, do we 
save the little silver pouch for last or do we play with it? I'm going to go to play with it. Mm. I'm so not sure what to do with that paper. I am. I'm either going to recycle it, I'm going to like stuff it in some boxes from people who I sell things to on eBay, but I'm not sure what they do with it. Hmm. Oh, pretty. Okay. So. I don't think you guys can see this. I'm trying to figure it out. But it's like a little necklace and it has a Mickey and it's kind of got this like diamonds or rhinestones around the edge of it. Pretty cute. I'm wearing a different one that you guys can't see because of all the shadows so sorry about the name. And else do we have in this magical little box? Aww, adorable! Okay, so it's got Stitch as this little hula self and Lilo. Okay, <laughs> and I'm probably gonna get some hate on this, but I actually like <laughs> Lilo and Stitch 2 nearly as much as I like the original Lilo and Stitch. Um, I mean, one of my favorite like parts of any Lilo and Stitch movie is the part where he thinks he's gone bad, so he like um, tries to scribble in all the like good things he's done, um, like saving like the bird from the tree and like putting all the suntan lotion on people. I really love that part of the movie, and so for a while, um, whenever I was trying to um, calm my like cheer myself up, I would say, "Good, good, good." That's get, 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 just like Stitch. Just a little note on that. And then I did request this because I love Pride. I do prefer women to men. And so I got a little pack. Which is perfect. Like, I'm gonna put this on a bag or like a jacket. I haven't decided. But it is really cute. And then this is something that a lot of people have been getting. But I mean, it's still very adorable. Oh my god, I saw. the Marie Wallet. So this is Loungefly and I'm sure lots of you guys got this too because I kept seeing it on the Facebook page but I love it. Um, it actually goes well with the Loungefly that I got yesterday which is fun but I didn't get any ears yesterday. Let's see. It's just like a purple kind of polka dot print on the inside very cute with like little pockets and everything it's actually got a lot of different little compartments which is really cute there we go and when i was growing up um, my grandmother she had uh two disney movies she had the aristocats and she had um jungle book so more than anyone else I have met, um, I have seen those two movies on and on and on and on. <laughs> so I used to wake up like I was at my grandmother's and um, sorry about this big boy right here. Um, I used to wake up and I used to be like scared and have a, like a nightmare or something because I mean little kids and everything. And so I would go downstairs and I would watch the Aristocats and it took me a while to find out what a duck being 
marinated actually in men. So, um, so that's really cute, and I love cats. So I think that is. Oh, and the pricing list. Okay. So where did I put it? It's probably under a million pieces of paper by now. <laughs> Okay, so I do have an import a little note here, and maybe you guys know about this too. Um, unfortunately, the Lion King piece de resistance for this month's magic box is temporarily stuck at customs and will not arrive in time for the August magic box. Whilst your, while your magic box has been adjusted so that we can have it shipped in a timely manner, the truly magical item will be included in your September magic box. Our extreme apologies for the inconvenience, but it's definitely worth the wait. So it also talks about the best possible experience um, is to join the Magic at Your Door Facebook group, which I am part of, and I, I am truly sorry if my post today actually... Um, cause any confusion. Um, I saw that the price was um, 125 and I just wanted to make sure if I hadn't like, used a coupon on it without realizing. Um, but I guess they're gonna do something but I, I don't <laughs> I don't mean to cause like any fuss or anything. Um, hopefully they get that figured out though because these boxes really are good. Um, and then it says, we hope that you love these magical Disney surprises that were selected specifically for you. Be sure to explore every nook and cranny of your magic box, including the insides of each item, as you never know where more Disney magic may be hiding. Okay. So not to have the, um, the yo drag on forever, because I'm pretty sure I'm not that interesting. Um, but it's all by colour, which is really interesting. So, apart from this one. So Pumba, my little makeup case, like makeup cosmetic case. I'm probably going to put some um, soap in here because it would only fit about one lash bar form. Or maybe I'll put like a really special lash bar form in. Um, so this one is $20. And like his head comes off, so... <laughs> There's like nothing inside his head, but I'm sure Pumba is like so much smarter than we all give him credit for. <laughs> um, and then the Marie Loungefly. This was probably a more expensive item, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you guys would own that. Okay. No information there. Oh, it was um. It's been something, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Mhm. Mm so that was thirty-eight dollars. So we've got thirty-eight. We've got twenty. So fifty-eight. And then we've got the little things. So we've got the patch, which is 60. Brings it to 68. The little pin pack. And this is pink. So that's $15. And that is totally cute for $15. Like, I love that. Um, so 15. So oh my god. So late in the day to do math. Okay, so 58, 68, 73, 23 dollars. But they did say that the Lion King item is worth the wait. So whilst it isn't quite up to that, we have no idea what that item is. So I'm pretty sure that they were right and it is worth the wait so I am happy with this box. Um, I would say honestly as much as I like the Mickey necklace um, 
I mean, I'm going to take him off. <laughs> because although I love Lilo, I love Scrump, I love Angel, um, Nani and David, I'm sorry, but they are one of my favorite Disney couples. Not, not as good as Adam and Belle or, um, or even, I think. My second favorite might even be Tiana and Naveen, but no, they're really good. Oh, and the ears. I'm like wearing the ears. <laughs> but, um, and the ears $20, $28. So that does bring it over. So that's about, yeah, that, that definitely is over. Sorry guys about that. Um, and I'm, I'm running so long on this video. So I would say this is my favorite. Anyway. I hope I haven't bored all of you to like death. Thank you so much for um, watching this video, especially watching as long as you did. Um, and so, uh, so far I feel really welcomed by this community, so thank you.